Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to discuss about Chota Nagpur Plateau and Meghalaya Plateau. The Chota Nagpur Plateau is located mostly in Jharkhand and some parts of it extend in northern part of Chhattisgarh and Purulia district of West Bengal. The Chota Nagpur Plateau is also an extension of Peninsular Plateau. The Damodar River flows through Rift Valley in the middle of Chota Nagpur Plateau and it divides the Chota Nagpur Plateau into two parts. The northern part of Chota Nagpur Plateau is called Hazari Bagh Plateau while the southern part is called Rachi Plateau. The Chota Nagpur Plateau is composed mainly of Gondwana rocks. Therefore, it is rich in coal, iron and bauxite. The Chota Nagpur Plateau shows a radial drainage pattern where rivers flows from center of the plateau to the outer side of the plateau. The rivers Flowing to Chota Nagpur Plateau include Damodar, Subarnekha, North Koel, South Koel, and Barakar River. Now let's look at some of the sub parts of Chota Nagpur Plateau. The Hazari Bagh Plateau is part of Chota Nagpur Plateau and it is located north of Damodar River. The Hazari Bagh Plateau looks like Penny Plain due to large scale erosion. Now, Penny Plain means a more or less level land surface produced by erosion of a structure over a long period. Koderma Plateau is located in northern parts of Hazari Bagh Plateau. It is mainly spread in Koderma district of Jharkhand. Some extensions can be found in neighboring districts of UP and Jharkhand. Koderma Plateau forms northern boundary of Chota Nagpur Plateau and Koderma Plateau is known for mica mining. Rachi Plateau forms largest part of Chota Nagpur Plateau. The Rachi Plateau is located on the southern side of Damodar River. The Rachi Plateau slopes in southeastern direction. On the western side of Rachi Plateau, we see patlands called Jaspur Patlands. These patlands are composed of Deccan Basalt Lava. They form highest part of Chota Nagpur Plateau. These patlands are flat top plateaus, locally known as Pats. Now, patlands are lava capped isolated mountains where plateau has steep slopes and flat tops. The patlands are formed by erosion of soft sedimentary rocks in the surrounding region while the region formed by lava is resistant to erosion hence creating patlands. They are characterized by level surface at the top. The summit level shows that they are part of one large plateau. On the eastern tip of Chota Nagpur plateau is located Raj Mahal hills. They form the eastern tip of Peninsular Plateau. They were formed in Jurassic era due to volcanic activity. The Chota Nagpur Plateau has most valuable concentration of mineral resources in India. The Damodar Valley has vast coal reserves and the Hazari Bagh region is one of the main sources of mica in the world. Other minerals in Chota Nagpur Plateau include copper, limestone, bauxite, iron ore, asbestos and apatite. The extension of Peninsular Plateau in the northeastern India is called Silong or Meghalaya Plateau. The Silong Plateau is part of Peninsular Plateau. During the collision of Indian Plate and Eurasian Plate, the region between Silong Plateau and Raj Mahal Hills experienced faulting, creating a gap in otherwise continuous Peninsular Plateau. Later, the rivers flowing in the region filled those faults with sediments. This gap between Raj Mahal Hills and Silong Plateau is called Malda Gap. The Silong Plateau is an elevated land with flat surface. The northern side of Silong Plateau is bounded by Brahmaputra Valley, while the southern side of Silong Plateau is bounded by Surma River Valley. Now, next mountain we will see are parts of Silong Plateau. Garo Hills is located on Meghala Plateau. Garo is the westernmost part of Silong Plateau. It is one of the world's wettest areas due to heavy rainfall brought by monsoon winds and the geographical structure aiding to the rainfall. It is part of Meghalaya subtropical forest and receives exceptionally high rainfall. It is drained by tributaries of Brahmaputra River. Within Garo Hills, we have a sub range of Nokrek Hills on which we see Nokrek National Park. Bal Pakhran National Park is located in the south of Garo Hills. Next is Khasi Hills located on Silong Plateau. This is located between the Garo Hills and the Jantia Hills. 
the whole region is covered with tropical forest and it is called Scotland of the East. The next is Jantia Hills located on the Meghalaya Plateau. It forms the easternmost part of Meghalaya Plateau receiving a large amount of rainfall and covered by evergreen forests. The Kupili River flows from the west of Jantia Hills. In between Khasi Hills and Jantia Hills we find Silong Peak which is the highest peak of Silong Plateau. A further eastward extension of the Silong Plateau is called Kirby Anglong Plateau. And this plateau has Mikir Hills in the north and Rengma Hills in the south. The Mikir Hills are surrounded by Brahmaputra Plain on three sides. Kaziranga National Park is located north of Mikir Hills. Dambukcho is the highest peak of the Mikir Hills. The southern part of Kirby along plateau is called Rengma Hills which is a series of low hills.